My name is Master Sergeant Mullen, retired Mad Max Mullen. And what we're about to do is go on an adventure of um, Milsim, which is military simulation. Operation Lion Claw is done every year here in um, California. There's over 600 players coming out here today to play. I am playing the part of the NATO commander, and my good friend, Summer Major Mark Colossio, is retired. He is playing that of the Russian Federation. We're going to do our planning, and we go get immersed into a realistic type of environment, an urban environment where we have different missions that we have to accomplish. Okay, the time is now 0620, and we're going to head on out there to Victorville, former George Air Force Base. And we're going to get it on, and I'm looking forward to a great day. I'm looking forward to victory. I'm looking forward to making it happen. So we get ready to deploy. So we're getting ready to start moving, doing our last minute checks with our leaders. Then game on. We're ready. Ready to make some action happen. Listen up. This is Bravo Company. No A Company, no NATO. This is Bravo Company. Always has and always will be. You remember that. You get out there in that box, I want you to be audacious, I want you to be bold, I want you to think out the box and make things happen. I want you to give me 110% and then some. We're gonna go over there, we're gonna roll them over. The chain of command tell you to do something, guess what? We would do it too. Any questions? Any questions? Oh, Bring it in. One, two, three. Oh, One, two, three. Oh, Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Everything's already been planned out. Right now, we're just in a wait and hold, you know, um, wait and hold until the game starts. These, these young men are active duty Navy. And so, a little about yourself, Kelly. Uh, it's born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I've been uh, serving for about nine years now, uh, Navy Chief. Honestly, this is great training for us. This is. Uh, some of the better force-on-force -force training that we're not really afforded in the fleet. So this actually reinforces all uh, all of our training in close-quarter combat tactics and um, just weapons fundamentals and and uh, building those good habits. So it's awesome to be able to get out and actually play. So. Jonathan, prayer for Alamo. Uh, I served uh, 20, 22 years active um, duty. I was inducted to the Ranger Hall of Fame in 2013. I was inducted into the Martial Arts Hall of Fame. But I did three tours in the Republic of Korea. Deployed to Germany, to Grenada. I've been to Panama, Alaska, all over. I served as the Ranger instructor for two eras. So I had a, it, it's been a fun ride. You know, a lot of people like to badmouth Milsim. You know, uh, unfortunately, a lot of active duty soldiers like to badmouth it. Yeah, I do it, and it's a lot of soldiers that do do it. And a lot of these young people like to play you know, modern warfare, you know, Call of Duty modern warfare. Well, I play the game, we can do it. And so I don't down anybody. You know, they're out here, at least they're out here doing something. They would like to coach or mentor and inspire the next generation. Because these young people want some guidance. You know, they want some leadership. And that's my main goal in life. Uh, this is my second command, I call him AK Valent. It's function second command, he's my executive officer. So my job is not to tell them how to do the job. My, my job is to tell them my intent and it's up to them to um, make it happen. Game on! Hey, we're live! We're live! We need to hit the front line fast, find out where the front line is, and start working objectives as they come in. They dropped, uh, they dropped about two squads right there in the vehicle. Take us now. Let's go. We're moving to a um, uh, firefight. Uh, there's two squads that's impeding our movement to our first objective, so we're going to go out there to ascertain the situation. This is how you know we're getting old. My daughter's getting married in July. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Is that a friendly right there? Thank you. Here we are. We're in. What's up? All right, thumbs up, guys. Yeah, we're getting shot at. Eddie! Yeah, 
the covering fire and I found out to the next set. We're in a building taking fire, that's where we're at. Close, you good? Watch that, watch that. enemy technicals on the street in front of us, which is Virginia Avenue. We've got contacts on the buildings to the left, to the center, and to the right. So we're at a hard point for now until we have technical support of our own, and then we'll push out of here. Right now we're having problems. Hey, we're trying, that way. We're trying to get vehicle support. Ranger 4, oh, Ranger 4, oh, Ranger 6, oh, yeah. over. I see him. Is there a way out here? Keep going, guys. Right now. We need a rocket. Yeah, uh, 425. What? 350, right? Yeah. Fire. Was it right on target? Yeah. That second shot that they did was money. Fire Fire machine. Fire machine. Our mission is indexed here. We're getting ready to uh, push our assets to our HQ and hold that position. just now indexed so it's been a full long day haven't had anything to eat but hey you know <laughs> it's uh, part of the game so we're getting ready to do right now I'm going to go back and have an AR after action report a review and so get ready for tomorrow so we're gonna find out you know, what we did right what we did wrong until uh, 350 <laughs> <laughs> I love you, brother. Good job. Good job. You guys did awesome, Absolutely. dude. Yeah, you guys did too, man. Yeah, you had me running. Okay, it's 1900 military time, 7 p.m. So right now, I'm going to get ready to go inside, do some chow ops, get me a good meal, go back to the hotel, take me a nice shower, relax, get up in the morning, ready to do it again for the final scenario. The advice I would give you, uh, I want to participate in MILSIM, Operation Lion Claw, is to go on the website, look at some YouTube videos, and get a feel of what the game's about. You know, join a local team, um, get you some kit. You don't have to start off very expensive. Start off, you know, get you some nice kit. Participate, and as you go, and just get out there and have a good time.